Good afternoon. Hello, everybody. I am Lutra FM, as always, and I am your host. Um, we are on episode 20 now of the Socio Challenge, uh, Youth Only Challenge, sorry. And we started the new season. We played four games. We lost two and won two. So, you know, it, it's been okay, average so far. Um, but hopefully, we can start doing, uh, start getting some, hitting some form and start doing better. We've picked up a few injuries in between the last episode and now. Uh, Vitar's out for four or five weeks. Um, there's somebody else, I can't remember now who it is, but um, yeah, and De Costa's gone. He's gone to Scotland. Um, I think Livingston. I think Livingston bought him. Um, so yeah, so fresh blood hopefully will be put into the first team and see if they can sink or swim. We'll just see how it goes in the next couple of games. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll be back in a minute with the first game of the episode. Right, so here we are. Um, as I said, we've played four games, won two and lost two. We've got six points and we're eighth in the league. Um, Rizar, Diagne and Weisbeck should be back in the first team and the silver. But yeah, we'll just, just see what the assistant manager wants to do. So yeah, so uh, Galvez is right back. Diagne and Bossi in centre defence. Bastian's left back. Drame and Tete in midfield. Because um, we know we don't have Viltard this season. So I think Tete will probably end up being the first team midfield partnership with Drame. Uh, Moisbeck's back in the team. Bazaar's back in the team. And then we've got Kofi and Vaz up front. Uh, let's see how we get on today. We are playing Goongamp. Uh, I'll probably not pronounce that right. But I'm pronouncing it how I see it. Goon. Guingamp, sorry, Guingamp. First highlight goes to us. Still trying to find um, a Socio home shirt that's not relatively expensive in my size, but every I've I've literally emailed about twenty different mystery mystery football shirt places, and they don't have any. Um, so if anybody knows of anybody that sells them type of shirts please let me know in the comment section i would really appreciate it because i would like to wear like i did with the Rafe rover safe i would like to wear um a social shirt every episode um so yeah but yeah just please if you know let me know in the comment section it would be much appreciated and as always thank you to everyone who's been following and um watching sorry and liking the videos, subscribing and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but I hope the people who are watching it are enjoying it for what it is. Because I'm enjoying it because I don't I, I don't particularly like doing saves where I'm buying Wonder Kid after Wonder Kid. It gets boring after a while. I, I'd rather just create my own in the use, from the youth system. <clears throat> oh God, that was a terrible pass, Bossy. Oh no. Oh, we're defending. Come on. Thank you. Whew. Getting worried then. Right. Third, uh, nearly up to half time at 0 0. Will this be our first draw of the season? We'll see. Bastion with the throw in. Gets it back. Crosses in. Beautiful cross. Great goal by Vaz. I was expecting that to be Kofi because Kofi, most of Kofi's goals are headers. But um, yeah, well done, Vaz. 1 0 to us before half time. Bossy with a, a decent attempt there. Right, 1 0 up. Uh, Weisbeck's not playing well. Let's try and encourage him a bit. Uh, hopefully that'll help. Try and be gentle with him because every time Bazaar's not playing well as I as well. Uh every time I try and say like demand more, it just makes them it just it just affects their average rating even worse. Their match rating, sorry, even worse. Right, Weisbeck, you're not getting any better, so I'm just gonna have to take you off, mate. Carl's empty, and we've got Tete who's knackered. Uh I can't really put anybody in, I'll put Grill on. 
You have to take Drammy off as well, so. Right, Pazard. No, oh, Galvez is injured. Can't take any more players off, so. We just gotta grind, grind through the storm. Yeah, I think this might end up just staying one 0 Hopefully, <clears throat> I always sound. I always feel like I've got like loads of gravel in my voice. I don't know why. Um, the flat I live in, unfortunately, has quite a bit of mould. It's not what you want to hear on a when you're watching a video, but it is what it is. So. I think it's been here for the last couple of years. I think it's um, caused a lot of phlegm in my throat and stuff like that. So I think maybe that's what's making my throat sound like this. So, um, but moving into my girlfriend's house um, in a um, couple of weeks' time, in the start of June, um, and um, she doesn't have mould. She's got a nice house with central heating that actually works the central heating i have it's a storage heater that takes 24 hours to heat up and it doesn't really produce much heat and it and it's rubbish and it's not very good at deterring the mold i obviously clean the mold off but it, it can only uh, me cleaning it up can only do so much so it doesn't really uh stop the issues so yeah it's a terrible building to live in it's not just me everybody in this building i live in has this issue Right, anyway, on that dreary note, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, we're back for part two. Um, we're now playing Grenoble. Um, don't think there's much change in the lineup. I think the lineup's the same. Tete and Drami have changed roles, but that's about it, really. Yeah, same team as last game, so that makes it nice and easy. Hopefully, we will uh, get another win. Get towards here. We want to be in this. We want to be in these positions at all times uh, this season. I do think we've got a good chance of getting promoted this season. Then God knows what's going to happen from there. <laughs> I don't fancy our chances in Liga, and I don't think we're strong enough. I think we might end up get relegated. But I, th I know we're definitely. I know we definitely got uh, a decent enough team to not be in this division we're in at the moment. I know we should be in the division above. It's kind of like the West Brom situation. You're too good for the Championship, but not good enough for the Premiership. And that's the problem a lot of teams have. That's outside the box. It's not a penalty. I'll be really angry if that's what I was going to say. Oh, I'm still not happy they scored, though. I'm just glad it's not a penalty. It wasn't a penalty, because that would have really annoyed me. Right outside the box, that was. FM is pretty good for VAR. It's a lot better than normal VAR, real life VAR. FM seems to be a lot better at getting the decisions right. We've had zero sh Oh, we've had one shot now. Oh, cock up there. We might be able to take advantage of this. Come on. Nice bit of passing there. Vaz over the top ball to. Oh, Kofi gets clattered. I hope he's not bloody injured though. Get up, Kofi. Oh, come on, that's definitely a penalty. Yes, get in. Right, Kofi, you missed your last one, so make sure you score this one. Yes, go on, never in doubt. Go on, Kofi. One, one. We've managed to turn things around. The conceding, which is good. Now, hopefully, we can go on and win this game now. Good interception there by Vaz. Uh, Wise back now. Tete. Has his first pass block, but gets another chance. And goal! Get in, Fazard. 2-1. That's more like it, lads. I feel like already this team is a year better, so I feel like the the youngsters are. A little, I mean, the players that we've got are now better because they've had a year, a year more experience. So um, I do think we're going to do well this season. But we'll see. I'll say this, and then they'll they'll probably win three two, and I'll give up all hope again. Oh no, I forgot they got low. Oh, he's so bloody good, annoyingly good in this game. He scores so many goals against me. It drives me mad. 
if I, if I could actually buy players, I would actually buy him just to stop him from fucking scoring against me. Right, we can't. We've got to stay positive. Another highlight to us: Galvez bombs bombs it forward on the right side of the pitch. Gives it to Drame. Back to Galvez. Galvez with the cross. Ah, Kofi, come on. I expect better from you, mate. All right, Drame's knackered. Put Acker on for him. Oh, God. Anybody who watches the soaps? I know that, 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 that my audience probably doesn't watch uh, British, British soaps, but... Jesus Christ, it's depressing at the moment on the soaps. You got you got one storyline with um Paul Unanley getting um something happening violated, we'll say. Um by the by the local pastor, the local vicar, whatever they call them. Um and then Emmerdale, you got that that terrible domestic violence storyline with Belle and Tom and oh god, so depressing. I know the reason why they do it because they want to bring awareness to these issues, but oh, it's so horrible to watch. Oh no! Oh, All right. I think I've gone from uh, wanting to win this game to hoping we get a draw. My expectations have been lowered. I hate playing Grenoble simply because they got that Jamal Low. He is really good. Right. 2-2, two, two. I'll take that. Not too bad. At least in this episode, we haven't lost yet. I, uh, I know I'll probably jinx myself now. Oh, somebody's spotted. Um, somebody's after... So we've got FC Ruin. Why would why would Baz go to you? I'm going to offer him a new contract anyway, just to be on the safe side. But FC Ruin are not even... Where are they? They're in the, they're in the division below us. Why would he do that? Why would he even go? Right then. Um, I'm going to holiday to the next game. We'll probably have to go through the transfer window as well. Deadline day. But um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec with the next match. Right, so we're back now and we are playing um, Nims next. Um, but yeah, one thing I need to let you know is my assistant manager or loan manager during deadline day decided to send a million grillot out on loan which is really annoying because he's been a decent center back for me uh not rated very well on here two and a half um but did all right when called upon um but yeah maybe his future doesn't lie here in the long run um bossy seems to be the Centre back, centre back partnership with Diagne, even um, so, um, yeah, he seems pretty good. Um, I had to call up a few players from the youth team and reserve just to bulk up the squad a bit because we've had quite a few injuries, including on the goalkeeper um, situation with Dosso, who was my backup goalkeeper, getting injured for about two months. So I've only got literally three goalkeepers across the three squads that I have now which is really really annoying so hopefully we won't get any more injuries to the goalkeepers but yeah but um we still got pop out so but we've got this guy here uh Guigan, who is highly rated goalkeeper as backup um so yeah so the lineup looks pretty much the same as the last time it is exactly the same so let's just see how we get on Hopefully we can beat Nims or Nims. I don't know how you pronounce the name. Right, first highlight goes to them. Corner headed out by us. Good little passing going on there. Ah, uh, was a good goal. That was I'll give him that. I wonder if he's any relation to Ibrahim Bar. Probably not. Very common name, Bar. Ibrahim Bar used to play for um, AC Milan. Um, I was a big AC Milan fan in the nineties, so yeah, he was. Um, Ibrahim Bar was one of my favourite players because he was so 
it, him and him and George Weah were just so bloody quick. George Weah, one of the greatest strikers ever. Underrated, actually, as a striker. Um, I feel like he doesn't get as much respect as, as much respect as he should for his uh, his goal scoring. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. For his goal scoring uh, feats at AC Milan. Um, I know his career tailed off a bit when he left Milan and that, but you know, them them four or five years that he was in form, he was unstoppable. That that great individual goal he scored from from hit from the opposition corner and just ran through the players. One of the greatest goals ever. Right, corner to us, wise back. Drives it in straight to the goalkeeper's hands. Looking at the stats, we have been slightly the better team, but they've obviously took their chances more. Um, hopefully we can get some momentum come our way in a minute. But it seems to be all mostly Nims at the moment with the highlights. Good save. Sorry, sorry, Baxter. Um, it's right. There's a bloody little gnat flying by me. I live uh, in a apartment building, and then across, um, across the way, across from my window over there, there's another apartment building, and unfortunately, their bins are uh, and their car parks opposite where I live. So, and they've just got like thousands of gnats just hover around by these bins. It's disgusting, and some of them seem seem to decide to come in here into my flat just to chill and wind me up. Uh, anyway, 2-0 down. I don't think we're going to get anything out of this game. But I shouty shouty at my players. You never know. Mm. Well, it's slightly worked. We're doing, we've had a few more shots. Would be nice this highlight. There you go. Oh, I was hoping that would turn into one of a highlight for us then. Still, I still live in hope. But yeah, go on. That's it. Go on, Tete. Go on. Go on. Pick out the perfect pass. Oh, okay. Could have, I think he should have passed that, to be honest. I think that was a waste by Tete. Right. Second half. Let's, let's come back in here. Fighting. Go on. Oh, good save. Wise back. Floats the cross up. Headed out. Still got possession. Oh, that leads to nothing. All right, I'm going to take off um, Kofi, I think. Shall leave it for a minute. Right, corner to us. Carzenti with the corner. Drives it in, headed out. Carzenti again. Get in. Go on, Carzenti. Great impact off the bench. Right. I don't think I've got any strikers. Well, I have, though. I think Azonga isn't really 100% fit. Baz, I guess we'll have to put on Kunzler. So we've got a debut for Kunzler. Kunzler will have to go here. Do that. Right, let's see how we get on with this. That's the wrong thing then, damn it. Probably won't make much difference, but you never know. Right, let's try encouraging. Still got a chance of getting a point out of this game. I'm running out of time though. One more highlight? No. Oh well. We can't win them all, and I obviously jinxed myself after the last game. Weisbeck, I swear he loves getting injured. Let's have a look at his injury history just to put this into perspective. He's had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's had 10 injuries since I've started this save. Um, only a few weeks here, a few weeks there, but I think I'm going to get rid of him. Once he comes back from injury, I 
probably going to get rid of him because I'm sick of him getting injured. Plus, I've got Carl Zenti now who's doing really well. Anyway, back in a sec with the next game. All right, we're back. Um, we're playing Orcs here away now. Um, I don't think there's anything changed in the line. Or, oh, is that Izanga? is on the right. But other than that, Alpha Tar's up front, so the Tar's back as well, which is good. Gives Vaz a bit of a rest because he has played quite a bit the last couple of the games. Uh, or is he injured? No, he isn't injured. He's on the bench. Right, first highlight goes to us, corner. Tar. Oh, Izanga nearly scored there, hit the post. Oh, we get it back, Kofi. Look at that, beautiful bit of passing going on there. Shame it didn't lead to anything. Uh, oh, I thought they were going to score then. Good interception there, bizarre. Go on. Passes to Fatar. Fatar across to Drame, who gives it to Izanga. Izanga. Izanga's up for it in this game, isn't he? Drame. Oh, that was poor pass in there, Drame. Uh, bright start for Izanga. Or Izanga. I think it's pronounced Izanga, I don't know. Could be wrong. Oh, the post again, then. We are getting closer and closer to scoring here. Which now worries me. Because I feel like Altsy is going to score now. Hmm. They are building up a bit of possession here. Which concerns me. Oh, thank God. Uh, I don't think Fatal's going to play the whole game by the looks of it. So Vaz might be playing. He's he's going to have to come on Fatal. Uh, I don't see the point in that. We shouldn't have played Fatal in this game. We'll just let him rest a bit more. Hopefully he'll be fully fit next game. We do miss him. We do seem to play better when we've got Fatal in the team. He's not, he's a, I say he's experienced, but he's probably only like 24, but relatively experienced in the young team. Oh, great. Any relation to Bobby? Bobby Zamora? Bobby Zamora? Zamora, sorry. Uh, let's have a look. Mm, no. Not by the looks of it. I'm not assuming because they've got the same surname they are brothers, but I, I was just checking. Right, corner to us. Can we get back in this game? I feel like we've been unlucky so far, hitting the post twice. Get in! Go on, Izanga! First goal of the season for him. He's the one player that I feel like has will, will score in this game, and he has. So, he deserves some praise. Right, let's try encouraging the players. Let's get back into this game. I feel like we should win this game, to be honest. I think we've been the better team at times. Right, they've got a corner. Nice save. Good save. Well done. You've listened to what I've said. Fair play to you. His rating should have gone up then. Why didn't it go up? It was a great save by him. Ah. Right. Goalkeeper's coming off. Even to give Gurigan a debut. Galvez can come off as well.
Uh, uh, we have not done well in this game. I feel like they're going to win now. Such a shame because I felt like we were turning the momentum here, but we're not. Um, try and change it up a little bit. Bring these further forward. Play attacking. Hopefully that will help in some way. Hmm. Can we get a point out of this game? By the looks of it, no. Any last minute highlights? No. Such a shame. Oh well, I think my uh, enthusiasm for this season's gone completely down from in this episode. I went from being really positive to now going, oh, it's going to be another one of these mid-table seasons. Uh, anyway, I'm back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, so here we are, last game of the episode, and I think we're playing we're playing Poir. Um, I love saying that Poir. Um, before we go, I think Poir are first. Oh, they were first. We're now fifth. They were first for a while. Um, but yeah, this is our lineup for the game. Um, Patricio makes his first plays his first game of the season as right back. Um, but other than that, I mean, Qatar's on the right and Baz is up front, but pretty much unchanged team from last game. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have sent. I have sent. Um, I have tried to offer out Wisebeck. So his days are numbered here. Just too injury prone for my liking. Oh, plus it means if Fatah can play on the right, that means that Baz can play more first team football with Kofi. So it benefits us with that as well. Fatah with the corner. Saved by the keeper. We seem to be a lot better in this game so far we seem to be more up for it but i mean i know it's the curse of the commentary coming up here and they'll probably score now but uh we do seem more up for it good cross by them see why do i open my big mouth oh no hopefully it's uh offside no god great great that's just great um, right, Fazard. Who the hell was that to Fazard other than the opposition? Thank God for Drame. Go on, Drame. Baz. I feel like this conceded has not deterred us. I feel like we're just more determined to win this game now. Just need to be a bit more clinical with the finishing Kofi. Right. Uh, Bastion gives it to Bossy. Bossy better not lose the ball. Gives it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Gives it back to Bossy. Ramey now with the ball. Or we did it to Patricio. Patricio with a beautiful cross. Shame didn't lead to anything. Oh, come on. I thought that was in then. Oh, maybe it's going to be one of them games where we lose 1-0 and we have about like 20 shots on target and none of them go in. Down to 11th now. Not good. Fatah loses the ball. Great. Get it back though. Drame, I love you. You beautiful man. Right. Bossy. Diagni. Come on. There's a lot of messing around here. Let's get it forward. Oh, I thought them two knee collided into each other. Good cross by Vaz. We hit the post again. How many times do we want to hit the post in this game? Come on, come on. Somebody... Oh. Come on. I don't think it's a matter of um, if. It's just when we're going to score at this rate. Look at that. Seven, eight shots, one on target. 0.76. They've had one shot, one on target. 0.14 and they've scored. We've been, we're getting FM'd at the moment, and I don't like it. Come on, Patricio. Patricio with um, pace, in, in, pace in abundance. Come on, Poir. Lose the ball. Give us it here. 
Give it here. Give it to us. We know what to do with it. Come on. Oh my God, you are joking me. Yeah, we're getting FM, dear everyone. We are getting F U C K E E. It's F U C K E D. Sorry. We need to be doing better in this game. We should not be losing this game. We've been all over them. They're actually getting into the game more now, which is great. Right, Pizard, you're coming off. Uh, Deo can come on for you. Kofi, you're coming off. Zanga can come on. Oh, Zanga can come on for you. <sighs> we are playing really bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to definitely change my tactic. But this tactic now is just ridiculous. It's just not getting anywhere. <sighs> right. I will have a new tactic set up for the next episode. We are going to turn things around. Yeah, we did a fun day as well. Great. Uh, I'm just going to do a team meeting because this is not on. Um, right then, on that note, I'm going to leave you to it. And then the start of the next episode, I'll go through my new tactic. Um, and then we'll... Hopefully, it will turn us around and we'll start winning again. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, as always, let's expand this area. Thank you for subscribing. Sorry, I got an itchy nose. Um, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for liking the videos. If you haven't already, please like the videos. And um, if you haven't commented on the video, if you feel like you've got something to comment, please give me a comment, good or bad. Like I said, I learned from it. So, yeah, anyway, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be back next week. All the best. Bye.